Okay. Uh, Tales from the Bayou. It's Friday. We're waiting for the rest of the group to show up here. But I thought I'd cover this a little project here. Uh, we've been playing with this for a long, long time. Many, many years. Uh, this is JMRI. Uh, this is Panel Pro. And this is in Layout Editor. Um, so what I'm going to talk about this morning is a couple of different approaches to your control systems. Uh, this is a part of my bigger panel. This is an Android tablet, which is very old. Uh, Transporter 1, I think it's all the way back. In uh, and, and this section, the railroad goes back into two, 2009. One of the first pieces that got put in, it's a storage yard. It's called Golden, for all you who follow me. And, of course, we have the big throat. And during an operating session, you know, we have people coming in and out of this yard putting trains in and out and they have to break up trains and put cars in the, the front part of the storage yard so they sometimes have to break up trains so you need to control your switches so if I go down here and touch the screen and the little arrow the little cross fuss you see the, the switch through and um, that's down here that's switch 125 through okay so if I want to come back and straighten it up I just push the button touch the screen and eventually we get a recall so it comes back there you go that may be one of the uh, little uh, flaws it there is a little hesitation now this is the program here I'm using to take the information from the big computer, and this is being done by Wi-Fi, uh, is uh, called Engine Driver. You have to set it up correctly, and you have to have everything talking to itself. Then you have to go into JMRI and start we start the uh, Wi-Fi throttle. We thri we throttle, I think it is. Then you have to go down in Tools, and you have to click on Start the Web Server. So if I go up here and I touch the thing, there's your options. Uh, well, it's not showing web here because I'm on it. But if it, I wasn't on the web thing, I'd have to go. Let's see if I can go back. Uh, okay. You see, well, let me go back one more. Okay, you're going to see this screen here like you're going to run a loco. You would select the loco and you could run the loco from here. But in our case, we're using web, so we're going to go web. And then it gives me all the screens that are open in the other computer. And there's my panel. So I touch on the panel. And then this is the bigger panel uh, for the whole railroad. And I'm only interested in the part down here at the bottom, right at for this location so all I do is make it bigger so you know people with fat thumbs can get the right button you know all those people with fat thumbs so anyway so that is a method and, and believe me people I'm gonna be real honest here when I first started on this this was a this was a major undertaking now, I am not a computer genius guru here I do understand the logic, and I did understand all the steps to correct, connect all the dots. A lot of dots to be connected with this. Okay, I'm not going to go through all that. I have several other videos on the YouTube, on my YouTube channel about JMRI, and this is an NCE system. You could do the same thing with uh, Digitrax. Uh, uh, it's just it's there's a lot of dots to connect and there's a lot of other things that go in to make this little picture appear like every one of those switches are controlled by a tortoise machine is connected to a decoder that decoder has an address bingo there's the key so that address is key connected to that button but to connect it there's all kind of things you have to do to create the, the panel and connect all the buttons uh, it just can be done. Now, an alternative, 
And I tried them when I first started. There's the panel I was going to create, punch the holes in, and connect it so it all reported back into the system for basically CTC and other things. I was going to use one of those, and this is called a mini panel. Okay? And basically, uh, that's a device that you can control you can program 18 buttons not gonna get in I have a whole video on this an NCE mini panel uh, but that could have been done by just having a push button and you could have written it so that when you push that button right there switch 130 opens up and switch 131 opens up you could have written your own little macro as you program all the buttons uh, you go out to four in four piece, uh, four steps and you can link buttons together so you could really make it more in this case right here I can do that whole thing on all those buttons with four steps because it, it is there's not uh, well I don't know when you get down to this last button if I push this button you got to straighten you have to straighten up one two three before so you get to this button, it may be the fifth step, which means you'd have to link steps. But I keep going to all the details on how this works. But that's another option that would create a simple thing. Uh, you're not controlling the switch machine with this approach. What you're con doing is controlling the decoder through the NCE system with this approach. Uh, it's not a direct link to the switch machine. It's an indirect through the computer. But here's the thing. We built the little stand to hold it because nothing we could find really. I mean, you know, you, you're operating and you have to touch this and push on it. So yeah. uh need needs something with a little more guts in it. And also when, I fi when we finalize this, I'll get some little small L brackets and I'll connect it to the thing here so it can't so this can't be moved uh, but I have two places I want to do this in this is at Golden and I want to go down there and put one at the uh, throat at Junction so that'll save me from building all this and wiring it all up uh, as opposed to this exist and the, when I say this exists, let's take a walk into the dispatcher's chair here. And when I say it, it exists, this is the main computer. Uh, that's uh, Panel Pro is running. If I go down here and click on this, you see all the windows that are open or come up. Now, I've highlighted this. And where we were was right down in here, in this section. So I can throw this switch here by just clicking on it. Arrival track one uh, work, uh, is open now. If I want to close it, I just click on it again. Or if I'm going back to junction on a turnaround, you click on the 115 switch and it opens. So this is the dispatcher's office. Uh, we have block occupancy. You can see the red right there. That sits in, there's some cars sitting in front of the Apex Depot. Uh, so that's got the occupancy lit. And there's some coal cars sitting down there on the lead to the coal train. So that's got that lit. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much the main line. I've got a couple of switches. You know, some, it's real good here. We have a switch that was left open on the main. So we can close that. Well, we actually must have been using the siding here. Both of them are open. So you can go look and see what you got going on on the main and uh, so forth. Uh, by the way, anybody wants to be the dispatcher at the Grande Pacific, we have an open position here. <laughs> anyway, so there you, there's a, a use of a engine driver and... Uh, account into JMRI then into the command station through NCE uh, and that computer right there so uh, it's 
a lot of steps. I don't think this is really what you call really complicated issues, but for awful lot of us, and I'm totally aware that probably 90% would have a real, would have a, they would have, you would have a hard time getting all this put together. And that's why I tell you that start asking around, ask on the JMRI, NCE chat rooms uh, for help. Because believe me, somebody around you in all likelihood, particularly if you're in any kind of a metropolitan area, has done all this. So uh, ask around, people will help. So there we go, Tales from the Bayou here at uh, August uh, the 1st. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks to the great medical system in this country. You'd be amazed how well it performs when you need them. So let's just not allow anyone to change what we have. Thank you and uh, good day from the Grande Pacific.